Hello everyone, welcome to another episode. Today I am doing a solo episode and I wanted to focus today and kind of piggyback off of the episode with Sarah Michelle, which I hope you enjoyed. That was last week's episode, episode number 23. Today I kind of wanted to talk about viewing yourself as a business, which I think can be kind of challenging as an artist to kind of um, embrace that like business entrepreneurial side. So I just kind of wanted to open up a conversation about it and ask you what has worked for you and talk about some things that ha have worked for me. So yeah, I guess let's get into it. Last year around the same time in June, I was in between gigs, kind of like I am now, and I remember my coach, I was I was coaching some um, opera music because at the time I was still kind of looking to uh, pursue the whole opera thing. And I remember talking to my coach and I was talking to him about how I was really bored and I wasn't exactly sure like how I could use this time off productively. And I remember he told me, you should do something every day that promotes yourself as a business. And that was really powerful. And I've kind of taken that to heart. I don't think I do something every day. Some days I don't have time. Other days I have a lot of time to kind of look at my website and make sure everything is kind of up to date, email people and make sure that, you know, I have material um, that I can put on my website and make sure that I can use it and all of that kind of stuff. I think that in addition to, you know, doing your research on like plays and like reading plays and learning new music and all of that stuff, I think we really also need to focus on how do people view us as a business, right? So I know that a lot of people who are in kind of the like corporate world um, use LinkedIn. I have a LinkedIn. I don't really know if it does anything, but it's also free. I keep it pretty up to date. If anyone wants to check out my LinkedIn, I will link it below here. I also have a website. Now my website is something that I really focus on and I truly believe that every artist should have some sort of a website. Now, whether that is on Weebly, on Wix, on there are a ton of different platforms. Personally, I love Squarespace. I've had a lot of success with Squarespace. It's super easy to use. It's really, really awesome. I highly recommend it as a platform for your business. Now, um, if you listen to a lot of podcasts, which I do, they advertise all the time for Squarespace. So you could probably get some sort of discount on Squarespace if you listen to a podcast. I pay I pay yearly for that subscription, but it totally pays for itself. I, I love I love my Squarespace. I love, um, I'm really pleased with my website and I really do try to keep it kind of up to date. Um, so I think that kind of the number one most important thing I think for an artist is to have a website. I know also a lot of artists have a page on Facebook. I don't have that, but um, a lot of people do. And I think that is another uh, another tool you can use. So during my conversation with Sarah Michelle, um, I'm not sure we got to this point in my episode last week, but it might be in part two, which will be coming out in a few weeks. I know that we did discuss, you know, emailing directors. And I think we did talk about asking people to coffee. And I think that's like super important. And when you do that, I have, um, I use a little signature Again, I'm not, I don't do everything right. And if you think that, you know, you have a suggestion for the way I do things, I'd love to hear that too. I'm just, again, sharing my experience. So I put a little signature on the bottom of all of my emails where I, I put my uh, full name and I also put my website. And I think Sarah Michelle in our conversation said, you know, she puts like what you know, her upcoming shows are and stuff like that. And I think that's also really, really great. I just have it already programmed in my computer to put my website there. So that's what I have. But again, it's really great to be able to um, link um, something that, you know, again, when you email people, they can just like see that you're like a legit person. That being said, I know there are some people out there who are probably thinking, I don't have enough content to put on a website. Like I, you know, have been having a dry spell and I, I haven't 
been doing a lot of work and I don't feel like I have enough material to put on a website. And I get that. I totally feel that. I think when I started my website, I mean, I was still in grad school, so I, I also felt like I didn't have a ton of information to put down. But the thing is, like, it'll keep growing. And I think it's good to invest in something like that now that you can that you can keep kind of building off of you should build yourself up as something that even if you don't feel that on the inside hopefully eventually building it up on the outside will help create that on the inside for you as well so i highly recommend even if you just have a few pictures from previous performances if you maybe have a clip of yourself singing or doing a monologue or or something um just start building that website. I think I think that's really important. Again, if you prefer a Facebook page because that's like free, whatever, that's just fine too. Um, I did have a coach tell me that if you are gonna do a website, really invest in that website so it doesn't say like uh, www.anahashizume slash weebly.com or something like that. So I know that a lot of free platforms, you can use them for free, but they will put like their own signature on onto that uh the url so i would recommend basically because someone else told me to and i really trust him that you invest in the web if you're going to do the website you invest in the website but a facebook page is a great free alternative a lot of artists do that i think i've been very clear on here that i don't want to be labeled as just like one thing across the board i want to be a very versatile performer when i say like how do you brand yourself? I'm not saying like, you should just label yourself as one thing and call it a day. What I'm saying is, how do you present yourself to the world, right? How, how do we do that? So again, I, I totally use my website. I think that is a great thing. I also think that social media can be really amazing, but it can also be not amazing. Clearly I use social media platforms. I talk to you all um, a lot through my Instagram. I know several people who have maybe two Instagram accounts, one for their kind of more professional life and the other is for their personal. Some people kind of mix the personal and professional. That's me. I kind of have a mixture of all things. Um, again, that's how I kind of want to brand myself. I don't want to uh, just be a performer, I want to show that I have a lot of these other sides to me. That being said, I think it's really important that you pay attention to what you're posting on social media if you want to have one cohesive page, right? Because directors, producers, a lot of those people can be looking at your Instagram. Another um, important thing in Instagram is understanding tags. Now this is getting really into like social media how to, which I am not an expert in. My friend Kyle Dvorak is really great at it. He is on my channel, episode 12 and 16. So you can check him out for more of that kind of information. He taught me kind of the value of tagging people. Now, a lot of you guys know that I also do some commercial work with more creative talent here in Minneapolis. And whenever I take photos that kind of show my more um, catalog self, I guess you could say. I will tag them and I've actually gotten jobs off of people seeing my posts on their tags. So, you know, even if you don't do commercial work at all, putting yourself out there, making sure that you're giving people credit where credit is due is really important. And if you're going to mix your personal and professional pages into like one thing, just be aware of what you're posting and is it appropriate for people to be finding you. I use uh, my Instagram as kind of an all encompassing thing. I also have a Twitter but don't follow me because I don't post on it. I lurk on Twitter and I have some really funny friends, so I look at their Twitters. So that's that. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, please comment below. Also, again, you can find me on Instagram and I love kind of hearing from you guys and knowing what you guys kind of think in terms of looking at yourself as a business. So. I, yeah, 
I would love to kind of know what you guys think. Um, to kind of wrap things up, I think websites are super important. Even if you don't think you have a lot of content to put on it, I think that faking it till you make it, I think is an important thing. If a website is not something you wanna invest in right now, definitely take a look at maybe creating a Facebook page. But anything that can kind of make you feel and make you come across as like a professional human being, I think is like super important especially in today's day and age. As far as social media goes, you can have two separate accounts. A lot of people do that. If you have one, just make sure you know kind of what you're posting and it doesn't need to be on brand, if you will. Like I used to post a lot of uh, baking pictures. That's not really, I don't have a ton of time to bake anymore, but I used to bake a lot and I used to post those on my social media all the time. But now I don't focus on that so much, but at least that was still like appropriate and you know, it showed that I had like a, another side outside of performing as something that I like to do. So again, just make sure you know what you're posting when you post on social media. Social media is super important, um, again, in today's day and age. So um, I, use it, use it to your advantage or don't. It's totally up to you. I don't know. This was just a topic I thought that I wish I had known more about like websites and the business side of things when I got out of grad school. So yeah, hit me up with any questions or anything, any comments. Next week, I'm actually taking the week off, so I won't have a video coming up on Monday. I'm going on vacation, but I will be back in two weeks with another episode. So have a good one.